Khashoggi killing Turkey vows to reveal truth on Saudi critic's death. Turkey has vowed to reveal all details about the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi, after Saudi Arabia admitted for the first time he had been killed in its consulate in Istanbul. Turkey will never allow a cover-up, a ruling party spokesperson said. Saudi Arabia suggested on Friday Mr. Khashoggi, a prominent Saudi critic, had died in a fist fight. Turkish officials previously said he had been deliberately killed inside the consulate, and his body dismembered. Earlier this week, unnamed Turkish officials told media outlets they had audio and visual evidence to prove this. The Saudi Kingdom has come under intense pressure to explain Mr. Khashoggi's disappearance after he entered the Istanbul consulate on 2 October to seek paperwork for his forthcoming marriage. Until Friday, it had denied knowledge of his whereabouts and insisted he had left the building alive. What is Saudi Arabia's version of events? The kingdom says a fight broke out between Mr. Khashoggi, who had fallen out of favor with the Saudi government, and people who met him in the consulate, ending with his death. It says investigations are underway, and so far 18 Saudi nationals have been arrested. Unnamed officials speaking to Reuters news agency and the New York Times say the Saudis did not know the whereabouts of the body after it was handed to a local collaborator to dispose of. In addition to the arrests, two senior officials have been sacked over the affair, Deputy Intelligence Chief Ahmad al Asiri and Saad al Qadani, senior aide to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The Saudi authorities have yet to give evidence to support this version of events. Observers are questioning whether Saudi Arabia's Western allies will find their account of a botched rendition, convincing, and whether it will persuade them not to take punitive action against them. U.S. President Donald Trump said what had happened was unacceptable, but that the arrests were an important first step. The U.K. Foreign Office said it was considering its next steps after hearing the report.